All right, everybody, welcome back to The Layout. So this is going to be episode number 120. And in this episode, we're going to be concentrating on the actual Cedar Hill facility. So I'm going to show you some of the changes I'm going to make into this area. And then uh, we'll be right back. I'm also running a train today. So we'll take a look at that really quick. And then we'll show you uh, the engine facility. All right, so this is gonna be a new addition for my layout. And I was able to pick up this diorama of a layout that came down. And it's actually the turntable and the roundhouse that I need uh, for the old Huntington and Hartford. So basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start removing this whole thing from the diorama and then uh, install it on my layout. So I gotta carefully cut around this to loosen up the glue pop this out and also do it do the uh, same with that building the roundhouse as well so uh let me get to work and then uh i'll show you some more progress all right so as i was uh, starting to remove more material here along the edge to pop this out you know i started thinking you know do i really want to pull this whole thing apart if there's a way I can do it without pulling it apart, I would rather do that. Um, so what I noticed, if you back away from the screen here, you're gonna see that this whole roundhouse and turntable is one section that's mounted on this bench work here. And this, it looks to me, it's half inch home of soap. And what I have on my layout is half inch home of soap. So I might be able to cut this off of here um, drop it on top of uh, my current layout, draw the template, then cut that out, and then just drop this into place. You know, in a perfect world, that, that's how I would like it to, to work, but we'll see what happens. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to take this all out as one unit. So um, what I started doing is removing, it looks like some type of plaster cloth here. So I'm gonna remove all this and try to get underneath and gently remove this. And I'm gonna see how many screws are, or if there's any screws on this. So um, we'll be back and uh, a little change in, in, in the plans tonight, but um, I think it's gonna look pretty good. And then um, during this uh, layout update, we're going to do a uh, box opening and maybe we'll run a locomotive or something. But uh, I do have a couple other things planned. So uh, we'll be back. All right, so I hit a snag and um, what I found was it looks like uh, my friend used uh, construction adhesive to glue the uh, homosote down. So that might be problematic. Um, we'll see. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna see uh, how I can uh, remove this without destroying it. So, um, if I can't get it um, to remove the piece as a whole, I'm just gonna have to slowly remove it piece by piece. And uh, that might be the way I have to go. So, but anyway, let me get back to work and then uh, I'll show you another update. All right, so I um, kind of lucked out. So apparently the glue did not hold as well as I thought it did. So I got the whole back side ready to go. So now I just gotta work on the front here. And if all goes well, then I should be able to lift this thing right out of here. So this is turning out pretty good. Let me get back to work and then uh, I'll show you some more progress. 
All right, so I was successful. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly lift this piece out. I'm able to take the whole piece now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the layout, and then uh, we'll see how it's going to fit and see what type of modifications I'm going to make. But uh, I'm very excited. This is awesome. So uh, let me get this over to the, uh, the layout, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, so I'm getting ready to lift this piece off, and um, what I gotta do is I gotta be mindful of the feeders that are currently there. I'm actually gonna use those again, and um, you can see how they're all tied together, and they hook into the um, to the power bus here, or what's left of the power bus. So I'm glad this is all intact, so at least I know how to put it back together and if I forget I can just rewatch this video and I got another set of feeders right there as well so it looks like same power bus but all right no big deal easy fix so all right let me get this um the segment off or the section off of the uh, this diorama and then take it over to uh, the layout so uh, let's head over to the layout right now all right so the good news is that this is going to work uh, I was able to uh, get into position the only thing that I'm gonna have to do is remodify this road here I still have enough room to put a road all the way around because it loops all the way around the roundhouse Okay, so I'm going to have to make some uh, modifications to this base. And I'll show you that right now. So once I put this in, I'm going to be losing this piece here. So I'm going to have to um, uh, make an actual custom piece for here of uh, basically just home of soap. And then if you see how it lines up here, oh, my original intent when I was restoring this layout was trying to um, preserve some of Bob's work and you know I'm not looking to tear up this road so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my multi-tool isolating tool and just cut along here and then I'm going to have to make some modifications over here so that this area that you're seeing right now is the only area that's going to be requiring just a little bit more work to fit um, I had a three stall round uh, roundhouse here um, it's not gonna fit so I took it out um, I'm still gonna have three tracks here that uh, I'll store locomotives on and then um, the rest of this is not gonna change so so far so good I'm happy with the progress um, but right now let's change gears let's go over uh, to the crew lounge the crew uh. all right so changing gears um what we're going to do now is we're going to head over to the uh, crew lounge and uh we're going to do a box opening so let's head over all right so welcome back to the uh, crew lounge and what we're going to do now is i'm just going to show you uh, a couple box openings and obviously these are already open but i'm going to show you some new additions uh for the layout so this one i found um, online and this is a Monon what was nice about it let's see if I can zoom in on it it's limited to 50 cars and it's an experimental um, uh, paint scheme I believe so I figured that would be a nice addition to the layout also I've been looking for one of these for a while, and I know that uh, Accurail made them years ago. Uh, Branchline uh, made them years ago. And I actually have a set of uh, Branchline ones, but uh, I was able to find a Bowser as well. So uh, these are definitely uh, definitely a cool uh, coal hopper. So that is also going to be added to the layout. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a package. I know it's in here, but I haven't opened it yet. I 
I got a really good price on this. well which I do appreciate okay. you can probably figure out it's a lantern it's definitely packed very, very well. All right, so there's quite a bit of packing material on this. So, so here's the uh, canister for the oil, or the gas, rather. There we go. Last portion yet, let's see how this looks. I don't feel anything rolling around, so I think it's in good shape. Which it is. Look at this. Beautiful. New York, New Haven, and Hartford Railroad. Edged right into the glass. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the box openings. And now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you some footage uh, from my recent trip to Portland, Maine. And I was up there and I was taking a long bike ride and I came across uh, some tracks in South Portland. And then uh, I caught the uh, Amtrak down Easter coming through. So we had the uh, engine 108 on the lead and then it was running push pull. And I believe that train goes from Boston, New Brunswick. And um, I was able to see the trailing unit, which was number 85. So we're going to look at that video and then we're going to go into some pictures that I took in Portland and then we're going to come back and then we're going to wrap up the uh, wrap up this video. So we'll be right back. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that footage from uh, South Portland, Maine. And now what we're gonna do is let's head over to the layout and we're gonna do a little quick mini op session. All right, so we're over in the industrial area and we're gonna be switching out Big Mike's scrapyard. We're gonna be pulling out a load and we're gonna respot an empty already in position. So in today's uh, op, sep uh, op session, uh, we're gonna be using a steam engine, number 2549. Now, the uh, steam did occasionally get used on the manufacturers when uh, diesels were not uh, available. So we're going to assume that nothing is available but the steam. So we're going to switch this out with our steam locomotive. So let's get started.
So one change I made to the op session was, is I'm going to be pulling the uh, empty uh, diesel tank car uh, from the fuel pad as well. So you're going to see two cars coming out. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that little uh, quick op session. And um, if you're wondering, uh, I was operating mostly in speed step one. So uh, this is definitely my smoothest running steam that I have uh, so far. Um, but uh, very pleased with that unit. But anyway, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna wrap this video up now. Uh, let's head over to the uh, Cedar Hill Roundhouse. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, layout update video. Um, I was definitely uh, pleased with the result of this. Uh, actually turned out better than expected. So I was able to uh, reuse this whole diorama piece. I'm gonna have to make some modifications to make it work. But uh, I was very, very happy with uh, the end result here. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, layout update and possibly a new format that I'm putting forward um hope you enjoyed the ops session and also the um, prototype running the amtrak train in, in uh, south portland and also some of the uh, photographs that i took uh, for my time there so uh, i'm going to try to do something different um with the layout update uh, videos and adding a little bit more variety to them so uh let me know what you think in the comments uh if you like if you like this video give it a thumbs up I'll leave a comment. I usually answer most comments that are out there. So uh, this is Ron with Haven Rails. Um, but before I sign off, I, I want to uh, send out a shout out to Peter's Model Making, who is a channel member. So thank you uh, for being a channel member. And also to all my subscribers and also everyone else who supports this channel. So this is Ron with Haven Rails. 
Thanks for watching. See you at the next layout update.